Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your valve latch on a Honda. I'm going to explain the steps in order to check each cylinder. So the first step is, is you're going to get your cam set to top dead center where the arrows are pointing up. Then you're going to rotate the crank the same rotation of the motor towards like this. Not like this, but like this. So once you got your cams top dead, that's cylinder one. The next cylinder is going to be cylinder three. So you're going to take your crank and you're going to go down and keep going down until your arrows are facing forward, both of them. And that'll be cylinder three. Then you're going to go down again another 180 degrees until your arrows are facing down. When your arrows are facing down, that's going to be cylinder four. Then you're going to go one more time all the way down till your arrows are facing towards the back of the engine and that's going to be cylinder two. All right, so I'm going to spin this crank and I got my little uh, extension here and I'm going to line it up with my dial gauge right here and it'll tell me when I'm at my full height of the piston. So here we go. Like I said, this is cylinder number two and I want my top dead center marks, which is right here, I want these to be facing flat straight across going towards the back of the motor. And that's for cylinder two. So we're going to go ahead and turn it and you'll see this extension coming up and make sure I get my feeler gauge out of there. Yeah, there we go. All right. So there we go. Let me. All right, let's see here. So I'm going to go and that looks like I just hit the height of the piston. So now I'm going to back it off until it looks like it stops. Right there. If you guys are wondering uh, where's the statistics or the little spreadsheet on this, I'm going to put two links underneath uh, the video so you guys will be able to download it and print it out while you're doing this and it shows the rotation that you need to turn it and everything so it explains it pretty well so pretty much I use two feeler gauges I use a 7 on the intake and an 8 on the exhaust I like to take them off because it's a lot easier to work with so in order to check them you slide them down in here like this and then you push them underneath the rocker and that one's really tight so that one's not within spec for sure it looks like maybe it's a six anyhow you want to slide this underneath it now I'm gonna crack them loose real quick and I'll show you how to do it so I got my torque wrench here and I'm just gonna break them loose both of them there we go and once you crack them loose let me get my screwdriver so we got them cracked loose and then you're just going to back them off just a hair. Now we're going to take our feeler gauge. Now keep in mind that's this is cylinder 2. This is my last one I'm doing. I just explained how to rotate it and check each one. But cylinder 2 if you just want a quick reference, like I said the arrows are pointing all the way out. There's top dead and top dead. So now we're going to take the feeler gauge and we just slide it underneath the lash and just set it like that as you can see right there and what we're gonna do is we're going to slowly tighten the screw until I mean no resistance just enough so it kinda touches it and we're gonna take our torque wrench and we're going to torque it to 14 foot-pounds so don't be scared just go ahead and you'll hear it click there we go that's 14 then we're gonna take the feeler gauge and see if we can still move it around yep and I used I usually like to get a bigger one like this is seven thousandths and I'll take an eight under there and if an eight can't fit under there then I know it's right where I want it to be so let me pull this out let me take my eight and try to slide my eight under there if I can slide my eight I gotta redo it and I can't get the 8 under there, so that means that that's right on the money at 7 thousandths. You can, like I said, you can go 6 to 7 on the intake thousandths of an inch and eight, 7 or 8 on the exhaust. I'm just running a little loose because uh, I'm going to be turbocharged, so a little bit of heat buildup, you never know. 
But that's how you do it. That's how you adjust your valve lash. This goes for both. Once you get the piston and top dead and follow the instructions, you do the intake and the exhaust at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.